As always, I'm fashionably late to the party. Ellen DeGeneres, or should I say Ellen DeGenerate, has been out and out for doing despicable things in the workplace over the years. Reason why this comes up now was probably because, more than likely, they hit it underground just like everything else that happens in Hollywood. Such as the pedal ring that was swept under the rug after a week or two. Allegations happen all the fucking time in Hollywood. But nothing really comes out of it besides more publicity and a slap on the wrist. However, this case is different because this time it seems like every single day there is just someone out there coming out with something new, another allegation against Ellen and her producers. Of course, you wouldn't think it because Ellen looks so sweet on TV as every good TV host would. As everyone and their grandma knows, Ellen is the talk show host of The Ellen Show for about 18 years or so, give or take. Of course, there was a formula to this concoction, charisma being the chemical X of the formula. Some people like Ellen have to work really, really hard in order to put on the mask every fucking day and look happy as hell all the goddamn time. People just simply won't like you on TV if you're just not happy and if you're just being rude on TV, unless, of course, that's your character, a.k.a. Gordon Ramsay over there, right? I mean, if you saw me on TV, you wouldn't care that I looked like a depressed, angry chicken all the goddamn time on stage and squawking at everything because that's already who I am, right? That's why you watch me. <laughs> Put Gordon Ramsay and I together on a show and we can call it choking the chicken and that shit would sell like hotcakes. You have to realize that Ellen lives in Hollywood, okay? A place so detached from reality that they cannot even tell the difference between acting and accusations. <laughs> okay? Everyday life there is extremely different from the rest of us. However, for whatever reason, people always take them for face value. Whatever is shown on TV, they believe that. They look at them on their talk show and they go, well, they act nice on TV, so they must be nice. I just never really understood that. I mean, they're actors for Pete's penis sake, okay? They lie on a daily basis. It's their job. <laughs> well, it looks like the charade is finally up for Ellen as people have been coming out saying that the workplace culture is toxic, that people belittle others, that there have been things occurring with harassment, racism, sexual misconduct, the list goes on. Santa is not gonna have a happy day with this one. The place sounds pretty fucked in my opinion. Of course, the producers there are going to constantly deny the allegations, but personally, I would love a further investigation into the workplace if these sorts of things are in fact happening. There also have been cases where employees have come out saying that there have been scummy practices being conducted behind the scenes, such as pressuring employees to not go to HR for certain things. That's really, really weird to me. Really great A stuff. Not to mention that some of the things that Ellen has done on the show to get a reaction are pretty terrible, but no one ever really talks about it, and it never really sits well with me either. Such as the time that Mariah Carey was on the show and Ellen was trying to pressure her into getting an answer if she was pregnant or not, and when Mariah said, no, I'm not pregnant, I'm not pregnant, then Ellen said, all right, well, we should have a toast. A toast to non-pregnancy. And she brought out a bottle of wine, and Mariah Carey, uh, <laughs> she, she was pretending she was acting to take a sip, but she couldn't do it at the very end. And then Ellen said, ha, huh, so you are pregnant. <laughs> and no one really said, called her out on that one. It's kind of weird how you would try to force someone to answer that. Someone that you don't really know personally to answer that kind of stuff when they were clearly trying to make it a secret. Ooh. Also on a sadder note, Mariah Carey after that, a couple weeks after that, she ended up having like a miscarriage. Yeah, 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 that's just, that's just not good. Uh-oh, stinky. Now, there's been a bunch of talk saying that if Ellen was going to lose her show or not. And Ellen had come out to people, multiple people, saying that she felt like quitting because her name was being butt-blasted, butt-fucked everywhere. But her wife says that she plans on continuing the show, so I'm not certain. I honestly don't think it really matters either way, because Ellen is filthy fucking rich, as I said before, so if she really wanted to, she can totally retire now. It's probably the perfect time to do so, and she can relax in her gigantic mansion, sipping on that champagne that she was trying to give Mariah Carey, and said, ah, well, that was a good run. I honestly don't care either way, because I don't watch the show myself, nor do I know anyone that actually sits down and watches the full show every day. It never really came across to me that someone would actually say, Oh boy, my favorite show, The Ellen Show is on. Go get the popcorn, honey. We're watching that today. She's going to be talking about le lesbian dads or something. It's, I just never really thought 
anyone would actually sit down and watch that show. The only thing that I've been in contact with was like YouTube. I've seen a couple of YouTube clips, maybe funny moments like that. That's kind of it. But I've never actually sat down and watched the full hour length of The Ellen Show. It's kind of not my cup of tea, I guess. There's actually an apology video out there from Ellen where she's talking about rising up and equality and getting rid of misjustices and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but she never really talks about the actual allegations, which is really funny. She's just kind of like, eh, you know, let's not talk about that one. <laughs> if you want to watch that, it's kind of bland. But if you want to watch it, it's down below in the description link. Go for it. If you like the video, consider giving it a thumbs up. Let's try to get this video to 100 likes. It would help me a lot. And if you're new, consider subscribing as well. I post content like this all the goddamn time as well as funny haha -ha gamer moments, okay? I'm sure the actual 20 fans of The Ellen Show might be upset that the show is probably going to disappear. But hey, it might be a blow that they might just have to take on the chin. Or they could just wait about three weeks until it all blows over and continue as nothing ever happened. See ya.